What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the next episode of the Ride Versus series. Uh, you can probably tell a little bit uh, different with the ping. We're not on our exact servers you usually play on. And that's based because I keep running in hackers. And when I say running in hackers, as in I'll get into a match in literally five seconds later, before I can even get my speech off about are you ready, I get headshot. Through a wall. Yeah. It's been fun. Anyway, we're here for the SJ9. We need to get that and then get out. Let's see if we can find this dang thing. Oh, let me get off real quick. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm hoping this will go well, but we'll have to see. It's been a pain in my butt all morning long trying to do this. Let's grab all these. Oh wow, I got kind of screwed on this run, didn't I? Not a lot of stims. What else we got? Nothing. Wow, yeah. Not a good amount of stims this time, but all good. Let's get these quickly moved down. Do it here, thank you. There's a couple other places we can check though, so we'll check those. Uh, we'll take this one out, put this one in. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, it was very, <clears throat> very awkward this whole time trying to get a match running so you guys could actually enjoy it. But I think we'll be okay, I think, where we're at. I haven't heard a single shot yet, so that's kind of nerve wracking. We're out of here. That's all I needed. It's time to leave now. Get over here. Gonna take the elevator out. It's all good. I just want to get all the collection stuff done before we moved on to lighthouse continue our adventure there so we already got to do a bunch of killing and stuff i figure if i can get this part done now it won't be such a annoyance later on because you know how it can go sometimes with this game I feel like I've done enough looting. Yeah, I feel like I've done enough. We'll loot a few more things though, just to make sure. At least have it called for a second. Let's see if the gun's here. Nope, no gun there, but there is a thing you can loot. Don't really want to get a run through, so that's why I'm just trying to make sure I don't. So far, I haven't heard anything coming out there. Don't know if there's actually any loot inside this hallway or not, but I'm going to check. I always find that interesting. You don't get XP for that. Check this. I should have enough XP from that now. I do want to come back in though, try to get a little bit more money back. I died 
two or three times right at the beginning. So, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Well, let's get out of here. We'll come back in and see what we can make happen. But at least we'll secure this thing. And then, I, I mean, I got to make a few more SJ6s, or if I find them during these runs, this will be good too. But I think I only need like two more, because I've got like four of them at the moment. Well, I do plan on going back to labs, but I figure since we have this quest unlocked, we might as well work on it. And that is to drop off the relays. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we're next to like two of them. So let's climb up here. Isn't it like right here? Oh, it is. Okay. This may look weird because I'm going to try to also get like a thumbnail. Well, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's going to be frozen for you guys, but there we go. Hey. Oh, oh God. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, I know where he's at. Okay. So was I getting shot from ahead or behind me? I know it was behind me, obviously. But was there someone in front of me? Also... Let's put that in there. Huh. Alright, well obviously he's going to be looking for me. Why not? Let's see if we can do it. Well, I thought night would be the best place to do this, but clearly we got some competition. Get this taken care of. I don't know how that's going to look during uh, <laughs> the night, but we'll see. Hopefully it looks cool. We'll, we'll see on the thumbnail. Well, you guys have already seen it. I haven't seen it yet, though. All right, so I'm either about to run right into someone or I'm good. I think I'm okay. I'll worry about the guy in the hill. I just want to get this one place down and then we can attempt to try to find him. So we gotta go across this. This was like a perfect place to come spawn in too. So then I can get two of them done at the same time and then I can come back with the other two. And then the other two are the more riskier ones. This one's not that bad. See if I can spot this guy. Hmm. I don't see anyone up there. Alright, we're gonna risk it. Go, 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 go. Let me over. There we go. Cool. Got to chill, hang out for a second while that thing is placing down. Because after this, I got to come back and I got to kill 20 PMCs within this area. Which uh, is not that bad. We've done it before. We can definitely do it again. Just going to have to do a lot of killing. I don't have a lot of lighthouse keepers. Well, I think I've got, I've got the one. Or not lighthouse keeper, sorry, just lighthouse in general. Um, oh, wow, no. That's it? Oh, there is this one. Sorry, there is this guy as well. I gotta kill... Well, it's killing bears, so it's technically just still killing things. Alright, fair enough. I guess I could bring a rifle and try to do some sniping shot, sniper shots too. Wouldn't be the worst idea. But we are pretty much done to what I wanted to do. I just wanted to get those plates down. Get some loot here. Oh, a little figurine. That's good to know. So this little camp has a little, uh, little loot spot. What? Oh, 
I'm so confused. How did I mean, granted, I should be dead too, but how did I not kill him? Like when he laid down there and I shot him in the face? How I'm confused. What did he shoot me with? Oh, well, that's right. I got one more spear, so I'm not too worried about losing that, but that kind of sucks. It was an M4. Well, let's be honest. Not my best shooting in the world. But, you know. All right. Um, Let's head into the rogue area then. Since I spawned over here. I can at least go get this one planted. And then, if we're feeling up for it, we can always come back. And uh, place on the other one at the, other, at the uh, chalet. Oh, he is there. I was like, that was weird. There we go. Wasn't wanting to hold for some reason. Right, let's see. I guess somebody on the other side. Did I put it on full auto? I did. Okay, good. I couldn't remember if I did. Shots seem, seem pretty close though, so I gotta be careful here. Alright, he's down. down too. Gotta get to the helicopter. Try to do a little bit of looting on the way there. I gotta hit him in right, but I got something there. L1. Oh shoot another one to get on. That, grab that. All right, we gotta head over here now. Should be the first ones in. Only other people that could could get to me or get to it before would be the ones that spawned over by the by the mountain over there. It just all depends on where they actually went. up this other one here all right good we're safe with that now <laughs> that's my biggest thing is if i can get at least three of them down that i know like i'm good to save the last one no matter what can't really lose it uh, i can't tell if anyone's on that one we're gonna loot this place up though Obviously, try to get some money. Let's uh, not die here. Let's actually get the same place down first. All right, cool. Be a little awkward in the heck if, uh, in hell if I were to die right there before actually getting that place down. Check this. Yeah, no one's on that grenade launcher right now. Bring a giant backpack, but it's fine. I think it's one on top. In there. And euros. Okay. Well, I want to get a little bit of loot, though. So, 
I'm gonna go through this side here. Through the building. Probably go up top. And then we can basically take a big roundabout to get out of here. And we go head back to our other goal. GP coin. Oh, you're Bitcoin for a minute. I don't know why the stamina is taking so long to, to regain. Like, I'm not really that over capacity. I thought that was a player at first. He was so, like, he looked more geared than what he is. Wait, do I have my OR key on me? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. Cool. Can't remember if I kept it on me or if I ended up putting it away. Got nothing on the table there. Nothing at the corner. something no I mean it, it technically something I'm not gonna lie I zoomed out because I thought that first shot would have killed him I do have the SJ6 on us, so if we do like get a little bit too much loot on us and we need something to help out, we'll get that. Nice, there's still no one up there. I think there's one on the roof. Like I think on the like the back side where we just came from. Maybe we can try to go for him. I oh, can't tell if they're scabs or they're players. To shot them. Try to get the XP from it. Let's 
Someone like an SR25. Oh, I should throw in a maid. I like he's about to throw a nade at least. I heard like a grenade pull. That was really unfortunate timing because I was hoping that <clears throat> I was hoping that maybe I get lucky with getting up here before the other players got this direction. It's a scav. This is going to become useless in a second. I need to load some ammo here. This dude's getting pushed by scabs. Got players on that roof. Is it's still easy to see with a night vision, <laughs> but I can't look that direction. I know how we can escape, obviously. Oh, oh God. I meant to jump there, not fall. <laughs> I meant to freaking jump the other way. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Alright, well, let's keep moving. Heal up while we're doing it. That's why I liked getting on top of that one, because there is another way to get down. You're not, like, you're not stuck. You can definitely find a way out. I originally I was going to loot those rogues as well, but it's all good. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. 
shot <clears throat> by somebody else. this out thanks unfortunately I now I've got that dude on my back I think he's getting shot though from somebody else so he may have died I see you make it across so I can Heal the legs real quick and then we can move on from there. The next part from here, uh, the, uh, like the next step after this quest, doesn't actually require like any wait time. It just automatically moves into the next thing. But I believe, like, maybe the next one after, or maybe one part two or three of ass assessment, or was when the waiting time start, like a day waiting time. the way see they well it's still healing oh there it is there it goes I just need to get out of the open water and energy is doing okay these legs fixed oh well now I know my downfall because I forgot that I had my serve 12 kit in my bag from the last episode or last uh, last raid so kind of screwed but I'm not mm. well we just gotta keep moving then I kind of screwed the pooch on that one, especially for what I have left. I can't really do a lot of running. Ha! Huh. Well, guys, I didn't say it was going to be a perfect episode, but that was a big whoops on my part. I screwed up doing that. All right, let's get moving. I'm just going to push it. I got. I have to push it. So what I'm going to have to do... Uh, da 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 da. SG6. Uh, Just gonna have to heal when I get over uh, there. And hopefully, hopefully uh, find some meds when I get uh, there, too. Uh, I have the painkillers, uh, which I'll be fine. Uh, 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 uh. All these painkillers, I'm going to need to get some food and water on my, on my way out. 
It's kind of a compromise run. I can't, uh, can't really brute force it anymore like I was trying to. But other than like other than like regular scabs, I don't think I have to worry about players or player scabs. I think we're past that point now. I'm also guessing all the loot's probably gonna be gone. Some ammo too. I, really, I forgot that I went through two mags. All right, yeah, this is all been loaded. Okay, let's get this place down. Frequency mode. Frequency mode. Forty seconds on that. Let's look for some food while we're in here. I definitely heard a scab. I just don't know where the play, where the uh, if that was a player or not. Kind of hang out for a second. So I'm good at energy. Water, I'm not too worried on because I can heal. And I do have an, e an e what was it, an ETG, right? Is that what they're called? I forget. Yeah, ETG. I've got one left of those. So if I have to take it, I can. Wow. Okay, Scav. Just, you know, open a cavity. You know, why not? My chest. Ow. Oh, oh, whoops, I can heal. My thorax is still bleeding. You know, I just, I just gotta go. There's, there's no more, no more delay. I have to go. Pop this. I don't have a pair of Koronami, so we're heading down the mountain. Oh boy. I'd be curious to see if that was a player that I killed or if I killed a regular scab. Or not regular scab, a player scab. Either like a PMC or a player scab. I'm not sure what I killed, but I killed something. I'll take a look here at the end once we get out. At least we made it across the map. No legs. Pick that up. It's more jerky, it looks like. Which if I had to eat it, or to eat the other one, I would. I think this is like 75 or something like that. I think here's there's any loot up here. Someone could have gone over to the island, so I'm just checking this. Conference key, nice. So I want to get out. I want to get out and have something to show for it. We didn't really get a chance to loot a lot. We got interrupted pretty fast over at the uh, playhouse. Or not layhouse, sorry, the, the water treatment plant. But a lot of people started rushing me. Once I killed all those scabs, it was like pretty much go time. And raiders. Either way, doesn't matter. We got that part done. That's probably the more annoying one that we have to do coming up soon to get to light Lighthouse Keeper. See now, where there's a lot more crazier ones coming up in the future, but yeah, I just got. I'm trying to think here. I, once we got out of that last labs raid, I did put in another craft for two more SJ6, which will be the last two that we're gonna need, and then every other item beyond that we have. So we have all the other turn-in items. So it's pretty awesome. I'm very, very happy about that because I know for a while there it took us a while to find that SJ9. So very nice, very nice. Oh, it was a player. Okay. I figure it was, but I couldn't really tell from what I shot. But either way, we'll take it. All right, well, that's one part of the quest done. Now we're on the next quest, which we need to get 20 kills on Lighthouse. The fun time. We have to uh, kill everything, basically. I think it's pretty much like the village here and to the left. We can't do any killing at the, uh, the water plantation, which is unfortunate, but yeah, that's what it is.
Bon, t'es bon Up to the right here. Unfortunate. Thought he was gonna keep pushing. He pretty sure he heard me walking. Pretty sure he ran in front of me. Where'd he go? Am I about to lose sight of him? This is scav. Is that what I was hearing? I think it was. I think I was hearing a scav and not a player. What the heck? I am the slide. Someone's getting shot over here. Where are you at over here, though? This is like... Uh, I mean, I was hoping to spawn more to my left. There's more, like, areas that I can players a lot faster but I gotta pretty much hope people are gonna come this way I mean I can push him obviously where's this guy at hello to see if he does any movement at all possibly go backwards you know So it's like the, the grenade launcher was shooting in this direction, but obviously I don't know the exact location. Hmm. It's kind of funny though. I'm pretty sure I was shooting it. I was throwing a nade at a, uh, a scav and not a player. Nothing. Of course, nothing on the rock. I know I'm silhouetted, but I've kind of got some cover. Mostly behind me and to our left. Pretty much it's only in front of us that we get to worry about too much. I guess technically the mountain to our left or hill, whatever you want to call it. I wonder if he died. I think he maybe he died. Oh, nope. Pretty sure we're about to find out whether or not this is a scab or a player in a minute.
Now we found somebody. They're way out there. Well, he's dead. <laughs> the rogue just messed him up. Oh man. No, it was not what I was hoping to happen. Let's check the hill again. I heard a shot over this direction. I don't know if someone's actually on the rock or if they're running past it or not. It wouldn't matter anyway, that kill wouldn't have counted. He's too far away from the zone that I could have got the kill. But it's funny to watch him talk to, to the room. See, that's why I don't go to that area, man. Not during the, the daytime, I mean. Daytime is just, it's deadly. Then again, the, the angle I've got from up here, I could easily take him out. I swear I heard the shot from on the, on the hill, though. So I'm checking all this in case there actually is somebody up here. That a shot at me or somebody else? I'm gonna guess somebody else. The shots didn't continue. Well, that was a player. He must have got. He must have shot the the scab that was down there that we originally heard. Had to have been. It's kind of curious if that one counted. It did. Cool. Well, one out of twenty. <laughs> it's a start. It's gonna take a while, that's for sure. I may have to take out that rogue. I don't know yet. I feel like I should be able to get there without him locking on to me, but I never know. Okay, I almost went to a bad spot. Just a scabby boy. No big deal, no big deal. He's using a shotgun. Oh, he's got a rifle. Up 39. Oh, you're a bear too. This is perfect. I need more bear kills, too. I guess we could take that. Alright, well. Nothing else really was coming our way, so I guess we'll go loot up a little bit. And then we can take the paracord extract out and come back in and try it again. It's just going to take time doing this. It took us the last time, a little while to do it too. Then again, I'm pretty sure the last time we did this, we ran into a lot of players. Like, in groups. And we ended up killing a lot of them. Like, pretty fast. But, then again, I am also, this is like, for right now, it's like 9 o'clock in, in the, oh no, 9 o'clock at night, excuse me. Oh, the morning. So, that's obviously going to play a factor in how many players we're actually going to see. And I'm back on my normal servers, which I don't usually t say what they are, so. But I am back on my normal servers. Oh, they hit the saves. I wonder if the guy that died is the one with the loot on him. He may be the one with the loot. Hmm. Still been looted. Well, if he's the one with all the loot, I mean, I can still get loot obviously from the, the area here. Yeah, we'll just loot up inside the house here and then we'll call it good. Take a look and see what we got. If he left any, anything behind, of course. I am surprised there's not more action coming my way, f like from the hilltop that I was sitting on. Typically, people will like come through the hills here, and uh, or they'll come through the shallow shallows here, and then they'll end up coming like around the backside there towards the other village. That was what I was expecting to happen. Obviously, that did not go our way. 
So I gotta save exactly that. I could look at a rig. I thought about bringing a rig in instead. This gives us just, it's just good protection, basically. That's why I'm kind of contemplated on whether or not I should change. Yeah, he was shooting. I guess he, he probably did loot the other side. Yeah, he looted that one too. Did he loot the weapon crate though? I don't think he did. I think it's only worth like, it's not worth much, I know that, but we'll take it anyway. Uh, it is a grip. Heard someone to my left. Nope. It's all the rogue area. Everyone just pushed in that direction. So, we'll loot, like I said, we'll loot up here and then we'll get out. I don't want to waste too much time. Water filters. I need more of those because I am still running my moonshine in the, uh, the farm in the background. So the more of those, the better. I don't know if that's still selling them for a lot. They, for some reason, the the hybrid here was the, like the thread part was selling a lot for a lot of money. So I'm gonna take that just in case it is still up in price. Okay, we got the storage key. Actually, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need that. Is that the key we're gonna need? I'm sure, I remember if it is. Because we need a key for like later on when we have to go try to find the flash drive. It's gonna be in multiple different locations, but like there's like two keys you need. You need the OR key, which we have, and then you need, I believe it's the one we just grabbed. So we'll see. All right, whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's reset it and then we can uh, hopefully get spawned on the hilltop on the other side of this. And hunt down some more players. Oh, someone left. Ha! Huh. Yep, they ended up leaving. So they probably got a bunch of good loot and were like, ah, out of here. All good. We'll come right back in. But we got a lot better spawn this time than we did last time. I'm going to see about trying to catch someone coming from the opposite side. And so they can also try to get someone down below, too. We got options. We got options. Uh, obviously, I want to try to get some loot, too. But, I, I mean, the kills are more the objective than anything. I said obviously again, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Use too many of the same words all the time. And then switch up my vocabulary a little bit. We'll take a look through the garage, see if there's anything, and then we'll uh, head outside and locate some more players, hopefully. Ooh, a meal. That's actually good. It saves you some money having to, you know, purchase those all the time. Come over here, check downstairs. I'm sure someone's going to come this direction. So the Bitcoin for a minute, but I'm like, nope, it's too big. Coin is too big. Bitcoin's a little bit smaller than the GP coin. We got some egg. Okay. The egg is actually very useful because the bastion plate that you can get, it takes, uh, I think it costs like two eggs if I remember right. So it's not too bad actually. For like the price and everything for what's for what you get and that thing has saved my life more than one time all right we got nothing there i know there's some other spawns but i'm gonna take a look see if we can locate some players now so we need to find them 
Hmm. We'll see if I can find the guy that crosses like this way. I don't see any movement. Keep an eye ahead. Check out the chalet, chalet while we're here. Where's this guy? Did I just hear something to my right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what was I just saying about that plate? <laughs> that plate has saved my life so many times. There's obviously something down there. Gotta be careful now because you can obviously look in this direction. And that came from down at the other chalet, so we definitely got some action. I see to make sure there's no one sewn across the way while I try to go around. I was so convinced there was someone around, like, behind me. Or, not behind me, that we were looking straight ahead at. It sounded like there was. It's like before he gets to me. Pretty sure this guy's got a, uh... Oh, what do you call it? He's got a SVDS. Come on. There we go. This on the other side of this. Let's get my arm stamina back up. I'm like right here. Come on, give me a little view of your head. I know where he's at now. He's running straight, straight ahead in front of us now. Can't see him. Oh, they can push back more to the left now. 
This dude moves a lot. Confused. If you wanted to fight, could have pushed. Ah. Oh, I got him. Someone else with a different gun. Can't go back to my old spot because I don't know if this is two people or one person that I'm now fighting. And I'm pretty sure you saw my nades. Well, it did help. Because I, uh, when I got shot in the arm, it like messed up my throw. No, no reaction from him. I do it. I'm another pro, but all good. Don't remember if I had an extra one or not. Shoot. Okay, wasn't expecting this guy at all. He's above us still. Got hurt for sure when I uh, turned on him, but that grenade I'm pretty sure would have killed me if I would have stayed in that hole. I just fixed that arm, son of a gun. I don't really have the best gun for pushing either. Think he'll push? I don't know if he will or not. He may actually, he's on glass right now. There's no way of pushing against that. He's got like a, what would you call it? Um, can't think of the dang name of the gun. He's got like an AK 74U.
I think I only got lucky that it, he didn't kill me. He's moving for sure. I don't know how good his headset is. If he's got a good headset, he's gonna obviously be hearing me doing the the in and out zoom, especially with my broken arms. All right, let's see if we we'll push this away with us. Thought I got him. With some ammo here. We'll we'll try to get him obviously. We need the kill. I just gotta get some ammo put in. Load, load, load. Load, load, load. going to peek that window or not. No, he's still alive. You dead? I didn't even see him peek the window. I was literally zoomed in that window and didn't even see him peek. That's crazy. Ah, oh, the inside's a good place to fight for him. I could not for the life of me see him at all. I definitely know I, I grenaded that one guy. Yeah, I killed him for sure. 12 hit count. Jeez. So I hit him a lot and just didn't kill him, unfortunately. He definitely moved a lot farther, or a lot more than I thought he did inside, from what I could hear. Because I was expecting him to still be on the staircase, like upstairs or something, by reposition where I did. But clearly, that was not the case. Oh, good. We go again. Where, where is this player going to be? There he is. And I lost him. Clearly, he's got to come through this side, right? I think I should see him in a second. Unless it was a scab. It could have been a scab. I know sometimes they do spawn at, like down there. Oh, jeez. How the heck did you... I don't know if I'm gonna clear shot. Maybe around here? Yeah. I don't think I got him. Nope. I don't know how those first two shots didn't connect to his head. I had the uh, the lead correct on it, for the most part. Unless I was off like a little bit. Though I am using RSAS versus the SR25, so... There's a bigger difference than expected. That's my only guess. 
typically when I shoot like that with the SR25, it's a pretty good shot. What am I stuck on? Top here, see if he stopped. I doubt it. Oh, there he did. Yeah, he did. Let's set that to 100 just in case. Oh, did you drop down? Oh, if only I had a camera on, you'd be able to see my expression. It is a very upset face right now. How did that not hit and shot him? Okay, I clearly have no eyes on the side. I need to keep moving. I need to get to, like, to the chalet area, and then I have a lot better shot. Unfortunately, from this distance, I don't really see much. One thing I could be worried about is obviously someone looting up this place. <laughs> but I was doing the O face, if you're wondering. I was doing that. What? How? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Found him. Loading, loading, loading. We're still missing a guy though. Unless he killed him. Depending on what he was using, it may have been so suppressed I wasn't able to hear the shots. But we're gonna load up here and then I'm definitely not gonna go loot him because of the awkward spot that he's in. So we're going to leave him. I didn't bring my paracord. So that means we're taking shoreline exit out or we're going backwards. It's unfortunate. I wish I could get more access to the uh, the rigs. Oh, a little Gen 4. If you weren't so heavy, I would take you. But you are uh, way too heavy. In all rigs. Question is, is that guy gonna the one that we originally were shooting at? Is he coming to us or is he gonna keep going towards I'm gonna guess the rogue area? And of course be cautious just in case there is someone that is around here. So we check the rest of this, which I'm gonna check the door. If the door is open, yeah. I'm gonna guess someone probably came through here. Oh, the door's close. Oh, 
Oh, this door is open. Yep. All right, let's keep moving. I need to take a look over here real quick. Let's see if I can find the guy. I don't see anyone sitting over there. Obviously, we got players over at the rogues area. I don't see anyone. Don't break leg, don't break leg, don't break leg. Unfortunately, I feel like we're gonna get that uh, that situation of one kill at a time. That's it. I am trailing behind someone. Yes, I am. Oh, I was second floor. I heard glass, so I thought it was first floor. That sucks. I'm not sure if we have time for another one. I doubt we do. But uh, I, for some reason, forgot to record me putting everything into the, the box here. We didn't really see, miss anything. Literally, just, I just tossed everything in here. But um, yeah, that sucks. I didn't expect to die from that guy. I don't know if the game was being very accurate when it looked at his profile, but apparently he was using an RFB but without a sight, which was weird, to say the least. But, oh. Nothing you can do about it. Just have to move on to the next one. We're going to have to go back, of course, but um, where are we at? Four, I think, so far? Come down here. All right, we're at three. Not even at four. 17 more to go. We'll get there. Counteraction. Uh, we're actually doing okay because we've gotten a few more of the kills. I think every one of the kills we've gotten so far has been a bear, which has been really good for us. So I'm happy about that. So at least we're working on this quest as well. I don't know if there's anything after counteraction, but I mean, it's another completion. I've got the bear tags already. Although, do I have 20 of them? I don't think I do. I'm gonna double check here. Uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, no, I do. I do have 20 of them. All right, and then I've got like a bunch of them. Did I kill this person? I can't remember. No, I did not. I just picked this up by somebody else. Okay. Some of these ones, I don't remember whether I killed them or if I, if I didn't, so. Oh, well. Anyway, we're going to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We're still looking okay. Stats are looking decent-ish. Skills, we're getting up there for sure, but it's going to take a little bit of time. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Ride Ridge series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the episode, which you can say about the feature. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.